Good morning, church. I'm here to testify on what the Lord has done for me. I just finished my undergraduate studies and was awaiting the results of my exams before written. Upon the results coming forth, I found that I had failed a course. Truth be told, I thought I would have an extra year and was scared of telling my parents. I was not the only one who failed, so I and the others in the same predicament submitted letters to our dean for that course to be wavered. Unfortunately, every other person's own was attended to except mine. I was scared. I kept sending letters and checking, but to no avail. After the Thursday midweek service, I received a message from a friend asking if the result had changed. I wanted to reply with a no, because before the service, I had checked and it was still negative. But again, I just felt I shall check. Lo and behold, I checked it and the negative result had been changed. Praise the Lord. Mr. J.S. Good day, church. I have returned to give all the glory to God. My boy was conceived in my heart last year, May. It was a joy service. Throughout the pregnancy, I enjoyed God's love and mercy. Delivery day was scheduled, all was going smoothly, and contraction was progressing fine. Suddenly, my baby's heartbeat went from 140 to 50-something. Basically, baby had moved a bit and the cord had dropped, making the baby rest his head on the cord, which is where he draws oxygen. Everything became dramatic and almost scary as an emergency CS was called for. I almost panicked, but I remembered the words received from daddy and mommy. Mom said, God has done all things well regarding the delivery. Dad said, the Lord told him that it is a procedure we both would return from. I smiled because God knew indeed it was going to be a procedure. And in the midst of it all, I was confident all will be well. And indeed, baby and I are doing great. I didn't understand the procedure until my midwife informed me that what happened was something they were trained for but were informed that they might never experience in their career. She said she has never done this before despite her years of experience. Because of the low oxygen, the use of vacuum to bring him out plus other things, baby also went through some extra time in the hospital. It was an overwhelming procedure and process, but God granted us joy at the end. We have returned and we are so grateful to God. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for always delivering God's words as it is hot with precision and accuracy. I am Ibukun Adedoyi. Promotion in less than a year. Good morning, church. I have come to give God all the glory. I joined my current organization in February 2022. To the glory of God, out of everyone in the organization, only three of us were promoted at the end of the year. Even though I started with about four other people, I was the only new staff that was promoted. I want to give God the glory and thank him because I know that what he has started, he will complete in our family. And for all he is set to do this new year, thank you for being a covering over us, Dad. Thanks for being a feather, helping us fly higher. May we remain as sons in your house forever. Amen. I am Anjori Mayowa. My annual salary jumped from 3.9 million per annum to 23 million by the Lord God of Enthronement Assembly. Good morning, church. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and give glory to the God of my father, Reverend Deji Olabode. Indeed, serving God pays. I have been in my company for over 10 years and I have been trusting God for growth and a change of company entirely. I have done several interviews, but I believe God was preparing me for the best. I always told my directorate head that this new leadership role that God had given me requires resources to take care of God's people and I can't really do much with the current salary I am earning. And he always said God will owe no man. 
During the beginning of the year, God gave me some tough instructions. I paid my first fruit and received the grace of salt mandates from my father and I was really elated. The second month, God told me to give my entire salary again. I trusted him totally and obeyed. The third month, I did some savings to do certain things and God told me to split the money into three, give one part to him, give the second part to my parents and then use the remaining. Again, I obeyed. During the 21 days fasting, I wrote my list and my husband and I trusted God so much and laid it all at his feet. When our spiritual grandfather came to the Scepter Convention Center to declare, he gave two strong Bible passages at the beginning as confirmation from God. The event was played on the screen in church. The first time when it was played, I did not hear the Bible passages. For one reason or the other, there were some technical issues and God told me, I am giving you another opportunity to listen. Again, I heard just one of the Bible passages and I did not hear the second one. And God spoke to me for a confirmation. It would be played again. And the screen went off and Reverend asked that it should be played again. And I just knew God was just giving me the response to my requests from him. The Bible passages were Revelation 21 verse 6a NIV. The second is Psalms 52 verse 9. I will praise you forever because you have done it. As God would have it, my department was asked to transcribe the same message. So every word spoken was for me. It sank in very well and I knew God had answered. Firstly, I was shortlisted for the job, which was a miracle. My father, Reverend Deji Olabode, was with me throughout the process. The first interview, he prayed for me on the phone early in the morning and said, as he has said, so shall it be, and prayed massively for me. After a week, I got a mail for the next stage and told my father again, and he said the same statement, as he has said, so shall it be. A former senior colleague of mine who happens to work in that company was a huge blessing to me. He prepped me for the role and just made fun that he wished he was on the panel for my interview. And I told him from your lips to God's ears. Usually a general manager was meant to be on the panel as the chairman, but the GM selected to be on the panel was traveling the same day of the interview. So he told his senior manager to represent him, which happened to be my former senior colleague. The interview went well, and as usual, they tried to play office politics, but God raised men who spoke for me, and I was called for a third interview with the GM of the department, which lasted for only five minutes. I just told God, the words of my father would never fall to the ground void. I was called a week after and was told I was successful, that I should go for my medicals. During my medicals, the personnel who was in charge mentioned my BP was 175, 120, and it was not good for the job. I just looked at him and told him, that is not my BP, but you can write whatever you like on the report. I was called two days later that my medicals was successful and I was sent my offer letter. I trusted God to ensure the salary offered was beyond my imagination and it was. Please serve God with a sincere heart. In his time, it would show up. I want to thank my father and mother, Reverend Deji and Dr. Shimo Labode for teaching us right and ensuring they activate and actualize God's royalty in us. I give God all the glory that I married into the right family and that God brought me into the best church. I am Mrs. O.D. Praise the Lord, church. Good morning, church. The God of Reverend Dejo Labode doesn't put one to shame. When we were planning our wedding some years ago, I took my wife to see the elders of my family as part of the Yoruba culture. The wife of one of my uncles told my wife that the family suffers miscarriages, that in fact, miscarriage is a normal thing in the family, especially the first pregnancy, and that it has been like that for generations to generations. My wife was in shock, and on our way back, I told her I have a covenant with God and that Christ has paid the price. 
I started serving in our Shubu church then, and serving our man of God, Pastor Delio Kundaini, like my life depended on it, and sowed lots of seeds and made sacrifices within my capacity. Fast track to after our wedding, my wife conceived, and that's our first pregnancy. She didn't tell me she was bothered, but I knew she was. We kept on doing what we were doing, and like we've been taught, we prayed, served, and sowed seeds. We encountered a lot of problems, and even almost lost the baby. But the God of Reverend Dejolabode kept the baby. When it was time for my wife to deliver the baby, the doctor started giving us all manners of medical terms and reasons why she can't have the baby or why she can't have it by herself, that she must go through CS. I told her God is with us, so I rejected the medical jargons. On the day of delivery, I drove her to the same hospital. She couldn't walk again, so I had to carry her. I put her on the delivery bed by 10.59 a.m. and stood beside her and told the doctor to do everything they want to do in my presence. And in just about four minutes, the baby came out without any form of surgery. I'd put her on the bed by 10.59 a.m. and the baby came out 11.03 a.m. And God put the generational curse to shame over me and my family. My wife took in again and it was time to have another baby. On Sunday morning, 16th April 2023, my wife started to have contractions. We took her to the hospital and they started preparing her for delivery. God told me to join the online service. I fixed my airports and the next thing I had was God's servants were teaching on how to get married. I was like, really? In the middle of this? But since it's not my wish, it's an instruction, I decided to listen and walked around the delivery room. When it was time for offering, God told me to double it and I did. Two minutes after paying the offering, against all medical reports, my wife delivered a baby girl by herself. I have come to return all the glory and praise to the God of Reverend Dijolabode and the God of the Enthronement Assembly for not putting us to shame. I'm from a Muslim background. I gave my life to Christ in this church about 15 years ago and I have remained here and we are going to be here till Jesus comes. My entire family turned their back on me, especially my father, but God stood by me. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. I want to return all glory to God for fulfilling the prophecy of our father, Reverend DJ Labode, in my business. On Thursday, March 10th, during the midweek service, Reverend shared Mr. Ogunjobi's testimony of winning a grant of $2 million for his business and said there will be many more for members of EHCC. Now we stand on the existing protocol of that testimony, and we decree and declare that there shall be many other fests, many other prizes, and many other rewards for the members of our church in this season, in the name of Jesus. Father, we return the glory to you. We return the honor to you. We return all the praise to you. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. And somebody shout hallelujah. Such a faithful God. I mean, I received it and immediately saved that part of the service. And it became my daily prayer and confession because I had applied for a grant and I was trusting God to win. During the anointing service last month, Reverend said that the cloth we wore that Sunday has become a mantle and whatever we ask when we wear that cloth will be given to us. So I decided to wear that cloth for my pitch. Though I felt sick during the period we were to submit our presentation slash pitch deck, and this affected a lot, but I kept playing the video where Reverend prophesied, and I would say to myself, Emilo Kon, meaning I'm next. And indeed, God confirmed his words. Out of 13,986 applicants and 500 participants, I was selected as a winner for the 2 million Flourish Africa grant. Thank you, Dad, for sending the word ahead. And thank you for being a blessing. Doris Owolabi. Good day, church. I have returned to testify of God's faithfulness over my life. Within the space of one month, I secured a new job and also got my accommodation. It was my speed zone experience. This had been a huge concern for me as I spent most of my earnings on transportation alone with little to save. 
The God of Reverend Dejolabode finally did it with a bus provision to and fro my new place of work. Thank you, Dad, for the prayers over me. I remember vividly on a Sunday morning when Reverend said, On that matter troubling us, we should go and sleep because it is done. I believed it immediately and I rejoiced over it. Also, during one of the business and professional meetings held at Bagada, Work First Conference Room, Reverend Dejo Labode asked me personally if I had made the switch. A few months later, I had my documentation with the organization at the same venue Reverend asked if I had switched. I knew it was divinely orchestrated by God. The year is ending on a good note for me, far different from how it started. I have come to return all the glory to the God of Reverend Dejo Labode. My name is Benga. Akibanjo Okuni. Mega professional open door at Reverend Deji Olabode's prophecy. Good morning, church. The Lord has done it again. Reverend prophesied two Sundays ago that there are more mega professional doors to be opened and that it is our season of showers of blessings. I keyed into it and believed that the same God of Reverend Deji or Labody that has done it for others will do mine and I added it to my miracle sheet two days ago. The Lord blessed me with an additional international job with a salary in multiples of what my present job pays. It came without any form of stress. At every juncture of the process, I enjoyed favor. I bless God for the day he brought me into this ministry at Lesbora Hall back in my school days and the mercy to never look back since then. I thank you, Daddy and Mommy, for being a spiritual cover over me and all mine. DSA. Healed of ovarian cysts and creative miracle of a new ovary. Good morning, church. I want to say before God that I am very sorry this testimony is coming late. I just did the calculation to discover the miracles were connected to the program Reverend had with us last December, the apostolic invasion. This man and his wife got married in April 2020. Few months later, the wife took in and became pregnant with twins. But she had a miscarriage that same year. Few months later, she went for another medical checkup only to discover she had ovarian cysts on one of the ovaries. As they were trying to remove the cysts through surgical operation, they mistakenly removed the entire ovary. The doctors told them that her chances of ever becoming pregnant again was quite slim. But when Reverend came last year during the apostolic invasion, and on the second day prayed for those that needed healing. She came out. She went for another medical checkup in February this year. To the doctor's amazement, they found another ovary where the surgical operation took place. That was the creative miracle. And they also found her two months pregnant. Daddy, we did the naming last month. We want to thank God for giving you to us as a father. Thank you for the impartation, sir. To God be the glory. All expense paid relocation to Germany. Daddy. You prophesied that in the new year, some of you will fly. To the glory of God, sir, one of our members has been granted visa to relocate to Germany from Oshobo. All expense paid trip, he didn't have to pay a dime. We give thanks to the God that does not allow the words of his servant to fall to the ground. Daddy, we abide forever in your house, sir. Thank you for your cover over us. We are eternally grateful, sir. Pastor Shi Yi at DBE. See what the Lord has done. Robbed but not dead. Good morning, church. My name is Emmanuel. 
I want to give thanks to God because I am not dead. 5 a.m. on Friday morning, I went to the ATM stand along Ikeja Road to withdraw some cash for myself. I met two other young men withdrawing already, so I waited for my turn. About five minutes later, a car roughly drove by and a group of guys came down with guns. They started asking how much we all have in our accounts. The two guys said they had no money in their accounts. They forced them to insert their ATM cards and impute their pins. The ATM brought out the details of their accounts and showed that there were thousands of naira in it. The robbers got angry, withdrew money from their accounts and immediately shot them at the spot. At that moment, I was already shaken. When it got to my turn, they asked if I had money in my account. I truthfully said yes. They asked me to impute my pin, they withdrew my money and hit me with the back of the gun. The next thing I remembered was I woke up when it was done around 7 a.m. My back on the floor, people were running helter-skelter, shouting because of the two dead guys beside me. I want to bless the name of the Lord of Reverend Dejola Body for keeping me alive. May his name be praised forevermore. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the God of Reverend DG Olabode for the great things he did for me over the past months. I came to Lagos State as a serving core member as my uncle promised to get me employment. Unfortunately, things didn't work out as planned as he shut me out completely. He stopped picking my calls and attending to me on the employment issue. I saw I was left alone, so I had to pick up the pieces. In November 2021, a fellow call member who was serving together, Lawal Uluwashio, invited me to church. And after the service that Sunday, I concluded, this is now my church. My greatest fear began as I wrapped up my NYC in February. I applied to three different organizations in Lagos. I passed all the interview processes and at the final stage i was declined the opportunity i felt so bad and terrible not knowing god was planning something great ahead a month after i finished my nyc i got a call from an international company that i was shortlisted for an interview i was shocked because i never applied to such company only to find out that my school submitted my cv to the company and 31 CVs were submitted. I was among the five guys shortlisted. The interview process took six months, ranging from various stages till I got to the medicals. That would have dropped me because the doctor said he saw some features on my lungs as a result of tuberculosis I had years ago. I was so scared that I had to do another test to confirm if I still have tuberculosis or not. It was a Saturday and I came for the Enthronement University. After the class, I texted Reverend about my test and asked that he should pray for me so that the tuberculosis tests would come out negative and to be able to continue with my interview. I thank God everything came out negative and my medical result was released to the HR to continue my employment process. In September and October, respectively, I was scheduled to travel twice, but unfortunately, due to some circumstances, I missed the two trips scheduled for me. I was worried, but kept praying. I believed it's not by power to have come this far. So I kept praying and left the whole process to God to complete what he has already finished with my daily confession. Then I also informed Pastor Toba and Pastor Joy about the whole situation they both prayed with me regarding the process and i kept believing it's a finished deal already on october 16th after the second service as reverend finished preaching and prayed for miracles i took out my phone and typed my testimony and sowed a seed because i believed it would happen very fast and this was what i wrote lord I know you will never fail me as you've never failed my father, Reverend D.G. Olabode. Before the end of the year, I want to see your miracle regarding my employment. So when the 30 days of fasting began, I took it seriously 
and made sure I did not miss any of Reverend's daily teachings and prayers. On the 22nd of November, I was called by the company agent to go do my PCR test as I'll be traveling to Abidjan the next day. I was surprised, so I went as instructed and did the test. I was on my way to the hospital when he sent my flight ticket. The next morning, which was on the 23rd of November, I traveled to Abidjan and to the glory of God, I resumed work and from there, proceeded to other countries. Just like mommy, Dr. Shion Olabode said, some rejections are for your redirection. Now I understand the previous rejections I had were for God's plans to manifest in my life. I want to thank the God of Reverend Deji Olabode for not failing me even when men did. And yes, my daddy has given me everything I asked for. Thank you, daddy, and glory be to God. Oh, Samuel. Saved from accident. I was traveling back to Lagos from my town on Thursday, 11th August. We left Abiokuta and coming towards Lagos. There were parts of the roads that were blocked off due to construction work. So both the going and the oncoming vehicles were using the same part of the road. Suddenly, I noticed a vehicle left its lane and before I could finish calling the name of the driver, we're already inside the bush the driver had slipped off. I have come to return all the glory to God because no car was oncoming at the time. There was no tree in the bush we entered and when the driver eventually woke up, he did not just step on the brake. All thanks to the God of our Father, Reverend Deji Olabode, for the covenant of life and peace. Hallelujah. I am Okegbemi Olusoji. Praise the Lord Church. Good morning. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life. We were instructed to write out our prayer requests on the miracle sheet, which I did, believing God for seven things and perfection before March as the man of God, Reverend Deji. Olabode said, and according to 1 John 5, 14, Reverend said that we should ask according to God's will, which I did. And after the prayers, I went home and prayed again, then thanked God even when I didn't know how it will happen. One of my requests was having a new phone, which was the main thing on my mind. But I had no source of income as a student. But to the glory of God, I called someone with faith and explained to him that my phone is bad and someone wants to sell his phone for 25,000 Naira. And I needed assistance, but he said that the money was too much to buy a used phone. And I felt bad only for him to call me on Sunday that when will I be available to see him. I gave him a date and to my surprise, when I got there, he gave me a new phone, bigger than my expectations without spending a dime from my pocket. I am here to give God all the praise. Hallelujah. I am A.B. Glossolalia, my turning point. I want to bless God for what he has done for me. Sometimes last year, we were asked to do an assignment on glossolalia. We submitted and were told to do it again. When attempting the assignment the second time, it was then that the message sank. I was just lost in the message that I found how much it was ministering to my present situation. I was really in confusion as to what to do. I had tried many businesses and failed woefully. In fact, some people consider me insane. But after listening to the message again and again, I caught the spirit of speaking in tongues frequently and it helped my prayer life that I don't usually pray my own prayer points anymore. I pray according to what the spirit directs. This helped me so much that the foundation of my problems were destroyed. I got a clearer view about what to do. 
when to do it and how to go about it. I started a new business and my life turned around. I began to see the fulfillment in what I do. And now, me that I used to all different online platform money, I no longer need to borrow again. In fact, in the space of six months, God gave me my own land and he is still doing more. I have returned to bless the God of Reverend DJ Labode. Thank you, Daddy, for leading us right. When we are told to do anything in church, it is for our own good. I am grateful to God that I attempted the assignment. Praise the Lord. I am here to give God the glory for what he has done for me. I was meant to renew my UK visa. At the time, it was looking difficult to do financially. We have a family function in December, and every time my siblings talk about me renewing my visa, I go quiet. I couldn't tell them I am going through a tough time. I can only discuss that with God. So this day, uh, Oluriebi asked what the matter is. I said Nigerian Naira card can't do more than $20 in a month now. And she asked what happened to my dollar card. So I was quiet. I didn't know what to say. On Monday, 3rd October, she made me fill the form with that of my daughter. And I did submit. And she paid for my visa fee. She wanted to pay for two years, but I didn't want to take advantage of her. So I told her no. I agreed for six months visa application and gave her reasons. We went to VFS to submit application on the 6th of October. So on Sunday, 9th October, Reverend said, Will you not like to go on a vacation all expense paid trip on the pulpit? On my miracle sheet, I wrote it there that all I needed was my visa to be ready within seven working days. I sowed a seed towards my man of God. I titled the seed Prophet Honor and I was hoping for supernatural intervention. There had been a public holiday in between. On the eighth day, I received an email that I should come for collection. And I remember at VFS, they told me mine and my daughter may not be ready the same day, but I said it back to them that the God of Reverend DG Olabode will make me come and pick up same day. He will not stress me to come back twice. We had a prayer of agreement at my love circle about it. I told them where I dropped my name, I should get a quick response. On the 15th of October, I went there, which was the ninth business day to pick up and visa was ready. I called my Oluriebi when I was home that our visa is out, but they should give me time to sort out our ticket. That I am considering cheap deals on Rwanda airline and she started laughing that why do I want to go around the world before getting to my destination? That she would be paying for my ticket with that of my daughter with a direct flight. Six hours instead of 22 hours. I want to thank God because he's given me a relaxation mood to finish the year without worrying. And thank you, Daddy, for your prophecies. Every word from you, Dad, always changes my life at every point in time that it concerns my situation. I give glory to the God of Enthronement Assembly with thanksgiving, Mrs. A. See what the Lord has done. We have come to return all the glory to God Almighty for His unending love, supernatural supplies, and His divine health and protection. We have countless testimonies since we joined the Enthronement Assembly. During our wedding, my mother was against marrying my wife for reasons of conception. According to her, they told her in our church that my wife has no cervix and as such won't be able to conceive. My mom fought with me so that our wedding would not hold and that I shouldn't marry my wife due to this prophecy. However, my beliefs were entirely different from that of my mother. While our faith is limited to that which they told her in our church, Mine was anchored on God's word and the word of our father, Reverend Deji Olabode. Around January 2022, after our wedding, we began to notice several changes in my wife's body. It first began with a severe pain towards her abdomen. This pain comes constantly every three to five minutes. It was the most challenging period of that phase. We then visited the hospital for a checkup, and there we were told that my wife was few weeks pregnant. This made us really happy, seeing God has proven himself yet again 
over our lives and that is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Nevertheless, my wife kept feeling the severe pains at the early stages of this pregnancy. We visited another hospital for another scan. It was then we realized that she had multiple fibroids. The sizes were big at the time and we were told this was the cause of the persistent pains my wife was feeling. At the beginning, it was looking like the pregnancy wouldn't stay. The pain was severe and we fought through this phase. We kept our faith and we strongly believed God will complete that which he has started. Not long after the pain ceased, we had another checkup. This time, the sizes have drastically reduced during this period. We met Reverend and told him about it. He said it has no option and that we should keep confessing that as long as the baby is there, the fibroid has to give way. Fast forward to the third trimester. We had the last scan and praise God, the fibroid has yet again reduced drastically. And our baby was doing fine. The breathing, the positioning, everything was intact. Towards this last phase, the devil was trying to scare us. However, God was using our prophet through his messages and prophetic declarations to reach out to us. Every word was just as though Reverend was directly speaking to us. It was just exactly what we needed to hear at the time. It helped us increase our level of faith. During this period, Reverend messages and scriptures became our weapon through which we were able to become victorious. Scriptures like Romans chapter 9 verse 28, I will do a quick work and cut it short in righteousness. Mark 9 23, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. And because as a couple, we're conscious of the fact that faith comes by hearing and meditating on God's word, we kept at it. We engaged every word preached by God's servant. Finally came the day of delivery. The labor started, but it wasn't enough to proceed to deliver the baby because my wife's BP was extremely high. According to the doctors, this is a very risky situation that could lead to convulsion. We sent a message to Reverend. Few minutes later, Reverend called us and prayed for my wife. He said, call me when our bundle of joy has arrived. God has already gone ahead of this family. We held on to that word and we believed that everything will be all right. The doctor advised that we do a CS. We proceeded with it and God perfected everything. It was just exactly what Reverend said. God indeed had already gone ahead of us. Baby is fine and mother is alive. All glory to God for using a servant, Reverend Dejola Bode, for us mightily and for not letting any of his word to return void. We have come to return all the glory to the God Almighty. Healed of Ball during Miracle Prayers at EHCC. Good morning, Church. I'm sending this with joy in my heart because I never thought it would be me. On the first Sunday of June, during the second service, Reverend prayed for the sick. I was seated outside, but it didn't matter. I just believed in what Reverend said, and that was all. A few months ago, at the beginning of the year, I had this boil that kept reoccurring. It would come, reduce in size, and come back again. I've been on different drugs, but it was still the same. I even tried herbs. On that faithful Sunday, I was there in church. That morning, the pain I felt was too much. I couldn't sit properly. It was like it got worse the night before, and I was even on medications at that time. I was tired of using drugs. They made me feel even more sick. So during the prayer, I took it personal that I must be healed. I had so much faith in me that morning cause I was tired of the back and forth. After the service, I went home. I tried to finish my drugs, but I wasn't serious about it. So I monitored this boil and it's been two weeks. As I typed this message, I feel nothing, everything gone. I'm really happy because I never thought it would be me. I'm not even a member of the church. I just believed and that was all I needed. I am grateful to Reverend DG Olabode and his wife. Thank you so much, sir. Praise the Lord, church. divine favor good morning church i'm here to return all the glory to the god of enthronement house christian center and god of reverend deji olabody 
On the 25th of October, 2023, God proved to me this fasting is not a joke. I usually don't take fasting seriously, but I told myself that this particular fasting, I will give it my all, whether I like it or not. So yesterday, God showed himself in my finance. Yesterday evening, Daddy talked about not living on salaries, but living on faith and favors. He also prayed about money entering our accounts every day and daily credit alert. I screamed a loud amen because I work in a company where they pay salaries very early, like in the middle of the month. And before the month ends, I'm already broke. Salary don't finish. After the prayers and declarations, I received a sweet credit alert. I have never received this particular amount from anybody before. This particular person just messaged me that he was just thinking about me and that I should send my account details so I can buy ice cream. Ice cream K. I was surprised because we haven't even spoken to each other for a while. I quickly sent him my account details and immediately I received my daily credit alert. Oh. I was even thinking maybe there will be another conversation after that, but no, he just left again. I just thought to myself that I guess he only came to give me my daily credit alert, just like daddy declared. Ah, miracles exist. Daily credit alert all the way. I'm so excited. I just want to give glory to the God of Reverend Dejola Body for this favor. Thank you so much, daddy. May your oil never run dry. Miss OK. My Miracle Sheet Miracles At the beginning of this year, following the divine instruction to document our goals on our Miracle Sheets, I expressed the desire for a personal laptop and the revival of my media company. Initially considering a loan for the laptop, I reached out to friends abroad for assistance in acquiring the laptop. Miraculously, a friend sent me the entire amount of 400000 naira for the laptop, insisting on it being a gift. I want to thank God for this. I'm also overjoyed to share that my media company is once again operational and through God's grace and mercy, we're experiencing growth in numbers. I trust that God will fulfill all the items on my list before the year concludes. In the aspect of my e-hailing business, multiple challenges arose with my car precisely when my house rent was due. Business was also slow due to hike in full price, but the God of Reverend Dejolabode intervened. Two crucial clients visited Lagos at just the right time, and with the help of my best friend, I was able to meet my house rent obligation. Recently, I've been having gear issues, and I haven't been able to work for a month. I've been praying earnestly for provision during the ongoing fast and prayer. Despite reaching out to others for assistance, no help seemed forthcoming. Then, unexpectedly, my father suggested I contact my uncle, someone known for reluctance and offering help. Skeptical, but obediently, I reached out, not expecting much. After days of anticipation, my uncle surprised me by sending a portion of the needed funds. I'm grateful for this unexpected provision and trust that the remaining amount will come as a divine gift. I thank God because at every point where I'm about to lose hope, he shows up for me to prove that it's not by my might, nor by my power, but by his spirit. Thank you, Reverend Deji Olabode, for the word and season. To God be the glory for his continuous blessings and unwavering support in every aspect of my life. I am O.A. My favor and counters. Day 14, 23rd October 2023. Praise the Lord. Three in one testimony, so it's a bit long. Please pardon me. So it happened that for a few weeks now, I've not had any job to do. I was beginning to get very frustrated because of my wife and child and some serious bills that I need to meet. On Monday, I was so downcast that I started fasting in the morning, but at around 10 a.m., I just lost my cool and said, What is it, self? What am I even fasting for? I am tired. And I stood up and started eating. I ate and I just felt like it's unproductive to fast. I kept hearing a conversation inside that said, this is exactly where the devil wants you at. I felt that statement but tried to ignore it. 
Then I heard again that even Jesus said, if this cup can be taken off me, your reaction is okay, but don't stay here. When my wife got back from work, I told her I wasn't going to church. She knew something was wrong. She kept asking and I just told her, I am tired and sad. 5 p.m. on Monday, I agreed with the voice and said I would join the online service. Reverend came up and said he had just gotten back from Portacot and said he came with a new level of favor. I received it and a message dropped in my phone. I swiped to see. This was 5.28 p.m. and a client said she wants me to be in Lagos, that she has two jobs for me. She's never had two jobs for me at once. Immediately, guilt rushed at me, but I found mercy to thank God for it. We continued with service. Tuesday morning, favor morning. After the service, I went on Instagram and saw a senior friend back in my undergraduate days that posted one of our projects she was going to start, and I commented that she didn't even give me one project to do. Immediately, she replied that she's been looking for my contact. I immediately was in a DM to send it, and she told me she's been looking for me, that we have a meeting with some potential client that same morning, and I'll be standing as their professional. Well, I was in that meeting, and I am now working on their brief. At 8.30 a.m., someone I just had the privilege to meet that is thriving in an industry I'm trying to come into and I've had great challenges for about three years that I consider a king, sent me a message and said, how are you? I jumped at it and told him all the problems I have as regards to that industry, my challenges and difficulties. And he said, I understand the problem. What time are you free? He scheduled a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me just within 24 hours. I have had three major favor encounters. The God of Reverend Dijola Bode is alive, oh, just that our capacity is often low. Today, mercy day, I am aiming for mercy for capacity to nurture these blessings. I give God praise. Thank you, sir, for delivering God's counsel on this fast. Thank you, sir, for going to Port Harcourt. Thank you, sir, for your many teachings on how to speak to the king. I am grateful, sir. Praise God. I am T. Help me see my father. Hey. I see what you are doing. House rent paid. I give thanks to God and our father, Reverend DJ Olabode. I have been trusting God for the remaining balance of my family house rent. On the first day of the fast, 10th October 2023, Reverend sent me an appreciation message for the seed I sowed towards the SEC project. Few minutes later, a friend I haven't spoken to in two months called me, but I couldn't hear him clearly due to network. So I decided to call him back immediately I got home. He told me his mind has been disturbed since he didn't hear from me. Then he asked if I needed anything. I told him I am trusting God for my rent fee. He went ahead to ask the amount and I told him. Immediately, he requested for my account details and in 15 minutes, I got an alert of the remaining house rent. Thank you, daddy. More blessings, grace and anointing upon your life. I am Miss Taiwo. Rent paid. God has done it. Hallelujah. My apartment rent is due at the end of October and I've been worried about it. I've always prayed to God that when it's time to renew my rent, I don't want to make half payment but full payment at once. Since the first day of our 40-day territorial dominion fast, I started praying to God that I want my rent paid in full. Fast forward to Saturday, 21st October 2023, I received a credit alert of 139,000 Naira for a job I did. I was so sad because the money wasn't even up to half of my rent and I thought I was going to get more than what I was credited. I knelt down and thanked God and told God, this is not what I've been praying for. I've always prayed to you that I want my rent paid in full before the month ends, but this money I got can't do anything. Please help me pay my rent in full. I transferred my tithe and offerings, still holding on to my faith 
that it will be done before the month ends. I remembered reverence preaching about faith on the ninth day of the fast during the morning session. It said, what you don't have faith for cannot work consistently around you. He added that we shouldn't leave our faith to chance. On the 24th of October, I woke up to a WhatsApp text from someone asking me to send my account's details and he sent me the exact amount for my rent. Hallelujah! He said he has been so concerned about the rent because he knew it was this time last year I got the apartment and that it will be due this month's end. So that was why he sent it to me. I give glory to God and I thank God for the set man of this ministry, Reverend Deji Olabode and Dr. Sheon Olabode. May God continually keep them and bless them for us at the enthronement assembly. Mr. Oriyomi. Favor for acceptance. Good day, church. I have come to return the glory to God for His goodness and mercies endure forever. For over three months now, my school has asked that we look for a placement for a CWS program. Initially, I wasn't serious until they made it a graduation requirement. Then I began to panic and was on ease. But later, I just felt not to worry that everything will fall in place. I continued to sow my seeds and give my tithe and listen to God's word through his manservant. I told my parents about the development and they also told me not to worry. After the set man prayed about the favor of God over our lives, I went to a company that I was initially asked to come with 41,000 naira so they could accept me. When I got there, as if they were expecting me, I was granted easy access and uninterrupted audience with their HR. Then it was time to pay, but he said, still hold on to the money. When it's time, I will let you know. Till I left there, I didn't pay and I was attended to. Initially, I was informed that I would wait for two weeks for approval, but the HR told me to come on Friday so I can start work on Monday. God is in this place. Thank you, sir. Thank you, mommy, for your prayers. God bless you. I am PM. Twenty-one years also miraculously healed. My name is Augustine Mathias. I have come to return all the glory to the God of Reverend Deji Olabade. For many years now, I couldn't fast for two to three days because of a chronic ulcer that has been disturbing me. Since I started attending this church through the invitation of Mrs. Folari, I'm convinced that God truly called Reverend Deji by the workings of many great miracles through him. So when pastor announced the instruction of God for a fast, I said to myself, I'm going to fast and God will help me irrespective of the ulcer. Beloved, I am fasting and I'm waxing strong as God instructed. The ulcer that has held me down for 21 years is gone. Since the fasting started, I have joined and to the glory of God, I have not experienced any pain at all. I have come to return all the glory to the God of Reverend Deji Olabode and the Enthronement Assembly. I am Augustine Matthias. Divine Healing Good morning, Church. I have come to testify to the glory of God. On the 15th of October 2023, a testimony was shared during service by someone who had irregular menstrual period, as she testified about how her flow returned after I wasn't coming for weeks. I had a similar experience, and I was intending to go for checkup that week. After the testimony was shared, mommy said that testimonies are prophecies. I kid into it and believed that God that did for her will also do mine. After the second service, I stayed back a bit, prayed and believed that it was done. 
On Monday, 16th October 2023, around 6 p.m., my period came after a month, and I just want to give God praise for His goodness and His kindness. Regards, O.R. from robbery glory to god i'm here to say thank you god on my way home from church during the week i entered a bus to my usual bus stop and just as we moved the conductor sat and closed the door and said loudly una don't enter one chance so everyone started screaming and then the man who sat in front of the bus turned to us with an axe and a cutlass threatening to injure anyone who screams they asked us to cooperate and bring out our monies and phones and those without money will use a pos i was scared and remembered reverend declared the day before that we would have daily additions i started begging god that i don't have any money to give out at this time and he should honor the word that has been prophesied i started speaking in tongues and thought of what i could use as a point of contact I remembered my miracle sheet and my departmental tag. When it was my turn, he shouted and said I should bring out all I had. I wrapped the tag and my miracle sheet together and gave it to him in faith. He didn't open it at all and immediately threw it back at me saying I am bad market. And I started shouting for the driver to pack and drop me off. They packed and I got off safely. I just want to thank God for his protection and mercy. I also want to thank Reverend Deji for his lifted hands over us always at Enthronement Assembly. I am Olayinka Aruna. Yeah.